Welcome, welcome to the sneaker episode. Running and running shoes are something that I'm very passionate about, and I just got a new pair in the mail today. This is the Nike Fly Knit RN 2018 edition, pre-COVID. So, these shoes are out of production, but you can still buy them on sites such as uh, Goat, where these came from, StockX, and probably a few other sites. Amazon taxes heavily for them, and so does eBay. They are out of production and they have a replacement model, but it's not very good. I've tried it. And when the shoe was brand new, it was about a $100 shoe, brand new. I've been since been able to find them on clearance at official Nike factory outlets, like in Florida, for around $70 or so, if you can find a pair. Now remember, these are the 2018 edition and I pretty much bought like all of them. It's my old pair, it just ran out. This is a pair of uh, these are not fly knits, but they are what they call the free run RNs. If you notice, the bottom's the same. I've really abused them. I put a lot of miles on them. Old, new. The free run here in this hand looks a little uglier, as you can see. This was like my motorcycle shoe, also. It was. It's my. I use it for indoor for uh, cardio, my heat cardio workouts. These are excellent, even once the. Uh, midsole or foam is worn out they're good indoor shoes for gymnastic and handstands and shit like that they're great shoes i wear them. they're so comfortable i sometimes fall asleep with them on they're that good so it's my default shoe and they're really good not often you look it's not often you see me endorse anything anything i'm not really that much of a consumer so when i do find something that's pretty good i want to share it with people and tell you that this shit it's not uh this shoe is pretty fucking good okay and I, I don't know why they stopped making it it just doesn't make any sense to me why people stop producing good things but i mean i'm kind of a tire aficionado too if you can't tell there's always tires in the background of the room here I used to buy a lot of race tires and a lot of street tires and I had my favorites and I would notice that over the years like the tire would actually change or they would change the formula for the rubber compound or something and it's not the same. Same with the Nikes. They try to improve them with the new version of them and they fucked it up totally. The new version has like Velcro straps like the old Hirachis and they're not as light and they're just not as good. I, I know what a shoe feels like and I guess what it is is my body or my running form or style is used to this shoe or my, or my foot is used to this particular shoe. Uh, the downside to this shoe, I mean, for one, okay, the plus side is extremely lightweight. It's less than seven ounces. I put it on my scale here on the floor. It's set for pounds, not kilograms right now, but it's weighed in at 0 0.4 pounds. Okay, so 0 0.4 pounds. Well, half a pound would be eight ounces, so... Is less than half a pound, less than eight ounces. I last scaled it on a smaller scale uh, for less than seven ounces, and that's very good, very, very good. The shoe is very breathable. I don't wear socks with them. Um, I like to feel the air going through them, and just the flex and the performance and feel of them is unmatched. I, you know, it, it makes it makes my running easier. It makes it more fun, and I just like the shoe a lot so much that when I see them for sale anywhere. I buy them provided the price is reasonable. Now, if you happen to live in Canada, A, eh, or any other country other than U.S., you may be stuck paying duty because GOAT FedExed them to me, and I had to pay an additional, this is very disappointing to me actually, an additional $67.19, if you guys can see that, okay? That's, that is on top of the price of the shoe and on top of the 1995 whatever shipping and whatever this is just separate duty and what was it i can't believe this actually and the the fucking people they actually declared the shoe's value as 156 dollars and 98 cents which is ridiculous you shouldn't do that to people sellers and let's see gst hst like canadian tax 24 dollars and 31 dollars in duty so plus 67 dollars premium but the shit is so good that it's worth it. And when I find something that I really like, I will pay for it. You know, it's it's like that important to me. So this is it. This is my review. Go and try to find it yourself if you can. The 2018 Nike Flyknit RN. This model. Look for the little vented holes or whatever. All right. Very lightweight. Super lightweight. Non-marking sole. Great for cardio. Great for indoor wooden floors. Shit like that. Uh, very good traction on wet surfaces. Wet floors tile etc 
and it's a good fucking shoe. So if you're a new runner or even an experienced runner, this will definitely make you faster. Uh, you will experience virtually no pain until about maybe seven miles into it, then you might feel them. Again, these shoes only last me for 300 miles of hard running. That means that really after about a month and a half, they're done and they're for indoor use only. The Even though there's still traction on the bottom, the midsole is worn. If you look at my old pair that's kind of smelly here, you can see how worn the bottom is. I've taken these for, had them for quite some time actually, almost about nine months actually, so they've been really abused. But uh, still, they hold they hold together, you know? You go, I've walked, they hold up well in the wash, etc. And the free runs are about maybe half an ounce heavier each because they are not like vent ventilated like the fly nets. But still a great shoe, great fucking shoe. So that's my two cents on the shoe game. I don't know much of that. I don't buy them for fashion, I buy them for for performance related issues or whatever and same with my tires you know i don't care what the shit looks like it just got to feel good and it's got to function and be functional or whatever so that's my review from a guy that runs a minimum of 10 k's a day like for life since i've been 15 years old it's what ethiopians do i'm a runner and we like to run and our shoes are fairly important to us shoes and tires are very important to me actually it's one of my, I, I won't half step on that it's like I'm, you may find me cutting corners in many areas of my life but it will never be with anything that touches the ground so my shoes and tires are very important and dear to me and i think that i'm a pretty official source on this yeah so try them out my review and if you could find them you get a good price on them check them out and buy them highly highly recommend it by the way, if any of you ever want to send me a fucking gift, find these motherfuckers here, the Flyknit RNs 2018 edition in size 10 and a half or 10 or 11 or whatever. It's rare enough to find the shoe any day nowadays. And, you know, fucking hook me up with a pair if you want to give me a cool gift that I'll actually use and enjoy and treasure. Shit. You know, I like the shoe. All right. So that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching my show. And, uh,. I hope this information has been a little bit helpful or useful for you guys to decide shoes. Again, 2018 Nike Flyknit RN. Very nice shoe. All right. I'm going to put them on and go running. Ciao. It's been real.